Hi everyone, this is Yusan Lee. This is Yuna Cook from the Department of Orthodontics of Catholic University of Korea, Seoul St. Mary Hospital. We are very honored that our original article got selected by the American Journal of Orthodontics as an issue for the October 2022 edition. I'd like to thank my co-authors. This research is a result of team effort, including Dr. Jae-yoon Park, Dr. Jae-yoon Kim, Dr. Lam Gi Lee, Dr. Yoon Ji Kim, and Dr. Yuna Kook. Today, we would like to introduce the meaning and clinical implications of our paper. Growing patients with class 3 meroclusion are the most challenging cases when they come to see orthodontists. Maxillary protraction is the standard treatment for skeletal class 3 with the retrognathic maxilla. Conventionally, we can easily apply the face mask with intraoral toothborne appliances. However, using a face mask with a toothborne appliance may cause several undesirable side effects. To avoid such drawbacks, TSADs have been applied for a face mask. For example, maxillary protraction can be accomplished with mini plates placed on lateral nasal wall or infrazygomatic area. In previous studies, Professor Cook reported modified palatal plates as a new TSADs using direct palatal increase with face mask for maxillary protraction. This study was performed to evaluate this new treatment method, determine the effect on maxillary protraction using palatal plates, and compare results to those with maxillary protraction using toothborne anchorage. Then, what is a palatal plate? The palatal plate is the most powerful TSADs for growing patients with mixed dentition. Palatal plates have advantages such as flapless, single application, and placement in non-tooth-bearing areas compared with other TSADs which require bilateral invasive installation. This video shows the sequence of how to fit the palatal plate to the patient. First, adjust the palatal plate to the curvature of the patient's palate. Next, trim the excess of the arms of the palatal plates. Finally, create hooks on the end of the arms of the palatal plate. Like this, and resolve. Elastics were connected between the face mask and palatal plate by the hooks with the force at 30 degrees downward and forward from the occlusal plane for 12 to 14 hours daily in order to deliver 400 to 500 frames of force per side. Now, we will move on to discuss our study and the result. The patients were divided into two groups according to the type of anchorage. The study sample included 40 patients with class 3 meroclusion aged between 8 to 13 years old with a retrognathic maxilla and mixed dentition. Lateral cephalograms were taken before and after maxillary protraction treatment. Linear and angular cephalometric variables were measured and analyzed compared to treatment effects between two groups. Here you can see the comparison of the treatment effects. Group 1 showed significantly more advancement of the maxilla than group 2. Group 1 also showed significant increased SNA and increased AMB compared with group 2. Group 1 showed significant forward movement of A point compared with group 2. Group 1 showed less increased over depth compared with group 2. Group 1 showed less retroclination of the mandibular incisors than group 2. Group 1 showed less protrusion tendency of upper incisors, whereas group 2 showed a substantial increase of that. Regarding vertical changes, group 2 showed a clockwise rotation of the mandible, but group 1 had no such rotation. 
When selecting the type of TSADs in orthopedic therapy, this article suggests an effective treatment option for face mask therapy in patients with clathrin meroclusion. Face mask treatment using palatal plates can achieve the most desirable dental skeletal effects compared with other appliances. Therefore, we suggest that face mask with palatal plates can be used as an effective treatment modality for maxillary protraction in growing patients with mixed dentition for class 3 meroclusion. If you wish to read more on this topic, you can access the full article on the AJOD website. Thank you very much.